This is your home now. Welcome to my review, guys, and today we will be reviewing Crimson Peak. Crimson Peak is directed by Guillermo del Toro and stars Mia Vasakowska, Tom Hiddleston, and Jessica Chastain. Crimson Peak is about an aspiring author who marries an aspiring inventor, and after they are married, they move into Tom Hiddleston's childhood home, which is this big mansion, and they live there with Jessica Chastain, who plays Tom Hiddleston's sister. But after they move into this house, Mia Vasakowska's character starts to see some apparitions, and some ghoulish figures. Now, as I said in a previous video, this movie is not a horror movie. Even though that's what the trailer would have you believe, this movie is a romance with some ghosts thrown in it, or technically, it's a gothic romance. It never really bothered me that the ghosts didn't play a huge role in this movie, because if that's what Guillermo del Toro wanted to show us, if he didn't want this to be a horror movie, that's fine. It doesn't degrade the quality of the film at all. In my opinion, the ghosts were the least interesting aspect of the movie by far. And when the ghost showed up, it was usually a false jump scare anyway, and it wasn't scary. So I think if the ghosts were a more prominent role in the movie, I think they actually would have degraded the quality of the film instead of increasing the quality. The most interesting aspect of this movie is by far its look. Crimson Peak, as I said earlier, is directed by Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro has directed some movies you might recognize, like Pan's Labyrinth, Hellboy, and Pacific Rim. Some of these movies are better than others, but they all have something in common. All of these films are absolutely beautiful. Both the Hellboys, which are some of my favorite superhero movies of all time, are absolutely gorgeous looking films. They both have incredible creature design, special effects, and set design. And Crimson Peak is no exception to this rule. This movie is gorgeous. Everything from the wardrobe to the sets looks incredible. The mansion that Mia Vasakowska and Tom Hiddleston's characters live in after they're married looks freaking awesome. Guillermo del Toro actually publicly said that this is his best set he's ever worked on, and I completely agree. Tom Hiddleston's character is this inventor, and he's trying to invent this machine that will mine for clay. Now, this clay is a bright red color, and there's even scenes in this movie where it's coming up through snow, and it looks incredible. But what looked the best to me is the house is on top of the clay, and the clay is settling so the house is sinking into the clay. So the clay is seeping through the walls and oozing down from the ceilings and everything. It looks kind of like the opening title scene of the Daredevil Netflix TV show. But having this bright red color just infused throughout the entire movie looks so cool. But not only are the concepts cool, but the cinematography is incredible. The whole movie has this really vibrant color palette where all the saturation is jacked up and it looks great. Something about the cinematography that did bother me though is a lot of times in the movie when they were closing out a scene they would do this zoom in with like a circle it kind of looked like the Looney Tunes thing but they did it a lot and I thought it was just very elementary and unnecessary. Something that bothered me though in this movie is several times when the characters were talking the voice dubbing didn't line up exactly right and it didn't just happen once or twice but it happened like eight or nine times. The performances were very solid in this movie. I don't think any of them are going to win any Oscars or get any Oscar nods, but I think they all did a very good job. Tom Hiddleston and Mia Vasakowska had very good chemistry, and I believe that they were a couple. I cannot wait for Tom Hiddleston to step out of his Loki shadow because he's a really good actor, and I hate that he's just known as, like, you'll be like, Tom Hiddleston, and they're like, who? And they're like, Loki. They're like, oh, that guy. I want that to pass because I think he is going to move on to bigger and better things. Maybe not bigger, but better things for sure. I also really enjoyed Mia Vasakowska. She did a much better job in this movie than she did in the Alice in Wonderland movie, which I was not a fan of. There is, however, a long stretch in this movie where it drags. It's between the first act and the climax. There's a long stretch where nothing really happens and it gets a little redundant. And to me, that is one of the biggest problems with the film or else I really would have enjoyed it but the rewatch value is not very high because of that span of boredom but Crimson Peak is well acted it's a beautiful looking movie but because of the jump scares and that long span of time between the first act and the climax where it dragged I'm going to give Crimson Peak an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's review. And if you did, you can click the link down below and subscribe to my channel to see more movie reviews and movie related things. 
Again, guys, thanks so much for watching and see you next time.